Hi, it's It Works 3D with a quick demonstration video about how to change the filament on an E3D Titan Aero tool head. Uh, this one is available for the Lulzbot TAS 6 and TAS 5 on our website, itworks3d.com. Available in both 3mm and 1.75mm, and it gives you the ability to print both solid and flexible filament without changing uh, tool heads. So, uh, first thing you need to do when you go to change the uh, the tool head on here is to home the printer. On a TAS 6 it won't let you extrude or retract filament unless the printer has been homed. Sort of odd, but you need to do that. Uh, we've done that already, so we're ready to go. Next thing you want to set the temperature on the tool head either via Cura by clicking 200 and then set, uh, or by the LCD. You can see this one's already preheated. You can go to uh, push the button, get the info screen, go to temperature, go to nozzle, and then just rotate it. Uh, 200 C is generally a good temperature for uh, changing filaments. Um, and then we'll go back to the main screen here. If we want to retract the filament from Cura, we could hit retract 10 here, which you'll see the gear begin moving backwards and the filament feeding up out of the tool head. Uh, or you can go to the LCD, uh, choose movement, choose move axis, choose move 10 millimeters, choose extruder, and then roll it backwards roughly 50 millimeters. Um, and we suggest doing it this way um, so that it, there's a nice steady retraction of the filament from the tool head. You notice now I'm gripping the filament on the top. Sometimes it helps to keep a little bit of tension. Uh, they, the constrained filament path on the E3D does help uh, with flexibles, but it makes it a little pickier about getting filament in and out. And you want to make sure you don't get a little blob between the idler latch right here and the hob bolt. So you notice I'm pulling on the filament, and when it's fully retracted, it just kind of pops out and you pull it free. You get a nice clean uh, bit of filament there. The next thing I do, I'd suggest, is uh, double checking that your filament uh, tension is adjusted correctly. Fully loose is fully clockwise here. We've had a little mark on ours. Um, I would turn it back half, one, and one and a half rotations for solid filament, about three or four for flexible filament. And that's how we suggest uh, changing, removing the filament on the E3D Titan Arrow. Thank you.